In this grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this rotating arc. As you can see here, we can control the degrees for the start and the end. And this is beautiful. As you can see, those pipes are just sitting on each other because we are using the uh, correct parameter of the output. And if I just bake these pipes, you can see that they are uh, completely sitting on each other with a one point. So uh, the uh, model, the parametric model, is based on a project from uh, Puya Khazaili Parsa, which has made this in Iran, and it's a uh, basically a rotating arc with bamboo and then it has been uh, covered by something like that so you can see that this is the construction and it's really uh, creative and beautiful so uh, I thought that uh, we can also model this in grasshopper it's not really hard uh, let's just check this out uh, you can download this definition from our website you can also see that we have a starting radius which we can control here it's this one and uh, we can increase that. We can increase the uh, steps. So this is going to give us uh, uh, more in the radius also. And uh, also the number of those arcs can be increased. The degree is controllable. Uh, to get started from scratch, what we can do is to uh, go to a new file. And what I want to do is to make an arc. And basically, it's going to go in the XZ plane. Okay, let's draw this with a red. This is an XZ plane. And we want to rotate that around Z by increasing the radius of this arc. So what I'm going to do is to go to the curve section, uh, primitive, and we're going to find this arc uh, section. Okay, let's just put this on the canvas and the bifocals plugin. And by default, we're going to put that in the XZ plane. And let's give this a radius. And you can see that the default is like that. Okay, now what we want to do is to also play with the radius and the plane. If I just make a series, if you don't know about series, I'm going to put a tutorial about this up here. But we can start a radius, uh, make it a step upwards. So this radius is going to increase and then uh, define a count. So let's say that the radius, the starting radius is like uh 20 maybe let's put that here then we're going to give a num the, another number slider control c control v and connect it to the step this is the increasing step for the radius and maybe we just need uh 20 of those arcs so if i give that to the radius uh you can see that this is basically the first radius here uh, the step is going to increase the radius for each step and this is the number of the arcs we have. So let's get to the next part, which is rotating the plane. I'm going to use the simple rotate 3D. We're going to rotate this. Let's just uh, use the control key to disconnect that and put it like this. Okay, uh, we want to rotate the X, uh, Z plane around the center, which is zero, zero. The axis is fine because it's the Z direction, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to right click on the angle and select the degrees because we want to define that in degrees and let's just define that and now instead of giving a series I want to uh, give it a more control with the range and again if you don't know about range we have also a tutorial related to this I'm going to put it up here so uh, the domain of the rotation is going to be defined by going to the math and selecting this construct domain. So I'm going to select that, give it here. The start and the end, so we're going to start from zero to maybe 230 degrees. Uh, the number of steps, here we have 14 numbers for this arc. You can see we have 14 of those arcs. If I give that number to the steps, because the range uh, divides the domain, which is zero to 230, to 14 different sections, uh, it's going to give us 15 numbers, right? So we have one plus here. Uh, I'm going to go to the steps and write an X minus one, which means just make it 14. So let's just fix this and expression X minus one. Uh, now we have 14 of these and we can give that to the uh, angle. Okay, so that is easy, and we can control the start and the end. 
as you can see here, we can increase the number uh, here, the number of the arcs, and this is the step between them. Here we go. And the first radius is this number, which we can control here. Okay, I guess that we have to decrease this so we don't jump. And now what we have to do is to just simply uh, give these arcs a pipe so we can see the results. Let's just connect a pipe. And the radius is really important. Uh, because the distance between each of those arcs increase in radius 2.4, if I give that to the radius, and uh, it's going to intersect because the distance, let's just show it like here maybe, okay? It's like this is the distance. If we have a pipe here and another pipe, let me show you that with a yellow one, uh, it has to be the half of this distance. So we can just simply go to the radius, expression, and type x divided by 2, and we will have a complete pipe. So that's the results. Let's just bake that. It's beautiful. You can see those pipes uh, sitting on each other with just an intersection with a point. That is really cool. You can see, you can check that out by selecting with the shift key and typing intersect. And you can see that it found zero intersections. So they are sitting on each other. That's really great. And at the end, we can also just show the surface by going to the surface and selecting the loft and lofting those arcs just to see the surface. So we can just give this a material maybe to the uh, preview section, display section, and custom preview. Uh, copy this for the pipes, turn everything off. You can see that easy it is. And we can just give it a swatch, color swatch to manage the colors i'm going to give that maybe a greenish okay the green is going to go for the pipes and for the surface we can go green with yellow is fine and you can see the results that's it so that was a tutorial of how easy you can use grasshopper to as you can see just rotate this we can increase the numbers or decrease them. We can define the starting radius, increase that which is inside here. And you can see this is good for architectural purposes because it just makes an entrance. Uh, you can go inside and then rotate and come outside here. Okay, so it's a beautiful one. We can just show that with maybe right clicking on the perspective and using the clipping plane. Let's go vertical and drop to the plane here okay you can see the intersection this is exactly what's happening we can enter that and then go outside like this here it goes and that's the results okay thanks for watching remember to like this video that's going to help us to grow this channel and subscribe because we have weekly tutorials and thanks for watching see you next time